This is the second video we have on our channel all about the five biggest mistakes to avoid on building an online course. This time we're gonna talk about it from the employee course perspective. So when you are building an e-learning program, for your employees, so for internal purposes at your organization, you have to avoid these five mistakes. Some of them are similar to when you were building a course to sell, but there's some nuances with it. This is so important. You wanna stick around. We are e-learning partners and we've made this channel to partner with you to give you information to simplify your e-learning for us. the most important part of your e-learning program and or online course, your learners. And with that said, we got a masterclass oh. all about helping you serve your learners and we will help you guarantee the success of your e-learning program by doing so. We have an A to Z process we take you through. It is linked right below this video in the description, click there, sign up, you'll get instant access, and we'll give you that A to Z strategy, and then we're actually gonna complete the first two steps of that strategy with you, which is the hardest part. People always ask us like, God, where do I start? If I'm building a program for my employees or to sell, either way, people get confused, they don't know where to start. Well, that's why we wanted to give you the whole process and start it with you. So definitely check that out below this video. Let's go in, number one. So let's jump in. The first thing is the build it and they will come strategy. We have seen this so many times where if we just build content, then everybody will magically come. Our employees will come and they will engage and they will automatically love it. I'm sorry, it but it doesn't work that way. This Johnny. never works. Just because your employees work for you or your contractors work with you doesn't mean that they have to take your program. Even if it's a compliance issue, even if it is an onboarding issue. Even if it is something like OSHA or legal, they may just push it and walk away. They'll push the they play button and to walk watch it. away. You have to give them incentive to watch it. You actually need to market more to your employees than you do to actually sell your course to your customers. So that is what you need to look at, is you actually have to spend time building a distribution strategy and marketing your course internally at your organization. So you need to market slash sell your employees on your course. That's what you need to do. The second thing is, is that when companies are building courses, they build it for Four. employees. That's wrong. Like you may be like, what do you mean that's wrong? Well, there's a big difference between building something for someone and building it with someone. So you actually need to build your program with your employees. What does this mean? This means that you need to do what Mapco does amazing company what they did is they took their employees to the table to the curriculum room and they're like let's build this together what do people need to learn at the company and let's build it and then they continuously got feedback about the program so don't build for build with your employees the third mistake that companies make is they make it too big so the same mistake that companies make when they're trying to sell a course, they make it too big. When the program is too long, you won't finish the program and your employees won't finish it. No one wins when your course is too big. We can't tell you how many times we've talked to companies where they've been working on the same course, not one people, not two people, not three people, a whole department on the same course for over a year over a year i mean come on it should not take that long and one of the big things one of the big reasons why it takes so long is because they're trying to make it huge so if you're going to do something big what you need to do is focus on the number one or the biggest challenge of your employees don't make it too big just focus on the number one challenge the fourth mistake that people make is they focus on the tech. We've talked about this before in a lot of videos, but focusing on the tech 
This wastes time. It wastes time. It wastes money. Again, we can't tell you how many times we've seen companies spend not just months, but thousands of dollars. Bigger companies, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and even billion dollar companies we've talked to, seven figures to find the perfect technology. And guess what happens? Because they don't make it about the learner, because they don't have the learner part of the decision making table, when they finally deploy it months, if not years later, they have to scrap it or they make their employees deal with it because 90 plus percent of the time, their employees hate it. Mm -hmm. They absolutely hate it. Don't focus on technology first. Focus on your learners. Focus on their biggest challenge. Focus on creating content around their biggest challenge. Get it in front of their hands. Get feedback and build your whole entire e-learning around your employees, your learners. So we're gonna save you some time right now. So instead of focusing on the tech, all you really need to know about the tech is if you need an internal or an external e-learning technology. We have a video right up here all about the best e-learning technologies for employee training. And guess what? We have two of our favorites linked below in this video as well. Talent Cards and Talent LMS. So if you are building training for employees, you are building internal training, which means you need an internal e-learning platform or technology. So the fifth and final mistake people make is what? They make it too corporate. All right, so some backstory. One of the main reasons why I'm even in e-learning is because I worked for a large accounting firm, PwC, amazing company. The training that I had to go through there though, this was a decade ago, this was a decade ago, so there's somewhat of an excuse, but not really, is it was so corporate. The training was just boring. It was just text and text and text and text. And then I was like, here's the question. And I'm like, okay, well, this, I don't know what any of this means because it's all scribbles. And you expect me to answer this question? Well, th that's how it was. So making it too corporate, don't make it corporate. Make it fun, make it interactive. There's so many things that you can even use for free nowadays that stay away from making it corporate. I mean, check out this software, Video Ask. This isn't even a LMS. This isn't even technically a learning piece of technology, but this is one of the coolest and affordable technologies out there. We have a link below this video as well for that. Check it out. This is the opposite of corporate. And to add to that, remember, your employees join your company because they were excited. They were excited about the vision, the mission that your company stands for. If you make training too corporate, too black and white, they are going to get disengaged. And disinterested. One of our favorite clients, Mapco, they actually put a whole training program together about the story of the company and their employees. And that is so important because, especially in a company of around 100-ish employees, the story matters. The story of being around for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years is important. Because it is an emotional connection. Remember, Personal connection. Remember team, remember this right? Your employees want to make a huge impact. They're not just there to do a job and get a paycheck. Yes, is that part of it? Sure. They want that but money. They want a they bigger want impact. They want to know the reason why they are there, especially in the world that we live in, especially with the different types of generations that want to have an impact. The, the millennials, the generation Zers, the, the, the TikTok generation, they want to have an impact. And if you just throw them into a product training or a compliance training or a safety training right off the shoot, they're not going to like it. Make sure you tell them from the start, the first training that they should do and the trainings thereafter should be integrated in what do we as a company stand for? What are our core values? How are we all connected? How are we all working together to make the world a better place? And the way that we're making the world a better place is through the products and services that we are offering to the market, to the world. So don't make training too corporate. Make sure to embrace what you stand for. Embrace storytelling. Embrace that emotional and personal connection with your employees. So at the end and throughout the training, they're not just doing a training, they are doing a training that they're excited about that they're passionate about, that they're excited to take the next training because they're not just learning more about you and the company, but they're also learning more about the impact that they are having. Damn! So your next steps are to check out the other video we have, the five mistakes to avoid when building online courses to sell. Maybe you're not looking to sell a course, 
But that video is so awesome and entertaining, you should check it out. We talk about some similar things, but a very different spin on them. So go learn some stuff. And we'll see you next time.